Gold. Welcome back. I'm Rebecca Talley, staff writer here at Gold Bio. Be sure to check out goldbio.com for great deals on high quality reagents. If you missed parts one and two of this video series, go ahead and check them out. In part three, we're going to discuss how to add content to your Evernote Lab notebook using the features that Evernote provides. Let's get started. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to add all of the notebooks into your Evernote Lab notebook, we're going to go ahead and show you how to add content into those notebooks. And like I said before, you can add any types of files to your Evernote Lab notebook. So you can add pictures, videos, PDFs, Microsoft Office documents, anything like that. To do so, let's go ahead and start by opening our new Project 2 notebook that we created. We'll go into the Lab notebook and we'll start by working in our Week 1 page. So to add a file to our lab notebook, there are two methods. The first one is that you can add it using this paperclip icon, which is exactly like adding an attachment to an email. So we're going to go ahead and click it. We'll pick the file that we want to add. We're going to use this picture and we'll click attach. And our picture is going to show up right into the, onto the page of our notebook, right there as you can see. So the other way that we can add pictures is by dragging the files over. And we can do that with all, not just pictures, but a variety of other files too. So you can either attach the pictures using the paperclip icon or drag them onto the page. And I'll show you how we do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this folder and we're gonna drag these three pictures onto our page. And you can do it one at a time or all three at a time, however you like. So as you can see, it went ahead and added these three images and they're taking up a lot of space. So one thing that Evernote suggests is to input your pictures into a table. And to make a table, you're gonna click this table icon right here. And we only need to put three pictures on, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a three by one table. And all you have to do is drag your picture right up into the table, and it will be organized as such. You have to make sure you click it on it, apparently. There we go. And now we have all of our pictures organized on the page nicely. You can also use this table feature just to make a table to input data, but I recommend using another spreadsheet to copy and paste your data in to Evernote if there's a possibility that you'll need to change the size of the spreadsheet because once you make a table of a certain size, so this is um, the three columns by two rows, once you do that, there's no way to edit it, unfortunately, in the web browser form of Evernote. So go ahead and use copy and paste if there's any possibility of it needing to change size. The other thing we can add to our page here is a PDF. Hold on, let me go ahead and click. And we're going to attach it using the paperclip method again. And here's our PDF. We're going to use the gold bio protocol for making a gel. And we're going to go ahead and attach our file. And it's going to show up right down here at the bottom of the page. And then you can go ahead and click to open it, and it'll just open your PDF right there for you. So you don't have to worry about keeping your materials in a bunch of different locations. It'll all be right here in your lab, lab notebook when you need it. So the other thing we're going to talk about is how to tag your notebook. So if you click right here on the tags icon, you can see all the tags that I've used in my electronic lab notebook here. And if we go back to our notebook here, I'll show you how you can add a tag. So if you see, look right up here, it says new tag. And it's really easy. You're just going to type in right here. And I'm going to tag it gel image because that's what we've had added to the year. And let's also put in progress. And then if we have data, sometimes I like to tag data. So the reason I use these three tags, you can use whatever tags are work best for your notebook and help you stay efficient and organized. I like to tag any images I have so I can quickly, quickly search for um, any images. So basically if I go here, and type in the gel image, I'm going to find my two locations where I have gel images added. So that's in this entry and then the entry that we just created. And then the other thing that I like is to add, hold on, let me get back to where we were in Project 2 Lab Notebook, right here. I like to add in progress tags for any entries that have not been signed off. That way I can easily open up my tags feature the same way and find any in progress one lab notebooks and we can open those and I can know that I'm not signed off and I can easily complete those or know at least know that they're still open and haven't been completed yet and let's go back and then I also like to use the data one on any pages that I add data that way I can have kind of a database of all of my data in one place 
just by searching for the data tag using the tags feature as we just did. So one of my other favorite things about using Evernote is the protocols. I went ahead and made a lab notebook just by using this create new notebook icon as I showed you in the last video for protocols. I also added a page and started that for each protocol that I use frequently. So right here I have a page for the Agaros Gel from Gold Bios protocol. And basically what you can do here is use the checkbox feature, which can allow you to check off as you've completed a step in your protocol. So you'll never lose track of where you are. And that works very well. What I really like to do with these protocols is since we have a protocol notebook and I can just copy and paste out of it, I'm just not gonna copy and paste the, well, let's just copy and paste the first half of this method. We can go ahead and copy and paste it and we have our other checkboxes here. I'm going to leave them open. And we're going to move into our lab notebook. Let's go back to week two. And I'm going to paste it right there. So anytime I need to use this protocol, I have it right here in front of me. And I can go ahead and checkbox as I complete each step. But when I go back to my protocols library here, I still have a clean copy. That means I can take notes when, in my notebook on, back here on page two we were on, I can take notes and make observations and everything on here without messing up the actual protocol because I have a clean copy of it in the protocol notebook. The last feature we want to talk about in this video is web clipping. So I'm going to show you an example of how you do that. And web clipping uses this little tool right here and it's basically going to clip an, a page from the web directly into your notebook. So you don't have to worry about saving it first. So here's our making a gel protocol here. And I'm going to click this and it's going to pop prompt me with this little window here. I can either save a link that was a bookmark into my notebook, the PDF or a screenshot. And I'm going to choose to save the PDF because I want the whole page. Before we hit save, you're going to want to alter where we put it. So let's go ahead and put it in our project two lab notebook. It's going to make a new page for it and click save. And there we go. And if you want to add any notes, you could do so. We didn't add any related notes. And here we go. And we can also add tags. And here's where you would add the notes at. And any tags you want to add right here. We didn't do that. And it's not really necessary at this point. So let's go back to our Project 2 notebook. Here it is. And open it. I think I'm going to have to refresh to see it appear. Give it one second. And here we have our PDF of our protocol directly here, and I didn't have to save it to my desktop at all. Thanks for watching. I also want to thank all of our subscribers and fans. Be sure to check out video four of this series to learn how to share your Evernote lab notebook. If you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and do so and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Check us out at goldbio.com for all of your research needs. See you next time.